hey, hey, it's me, Nurse Tiffany, and I'm so excited to be here. I wanted to come on today to do a quick little video in regards to advanced pathophysiology. So today started the review week. As you all know, I attend Chamberlain University and I'm currently in the Family Nurse Practitioner Program track for um, my master's. Um, we all know that advanced pathophysiology and pharmacology are three of the hardest courses that you'll go through in regards to this program from what I've heard from others. So I wanted to come in today, let you know how I plan on preparing for what's upcoming. So let's go over the top three reasons why they say pathophysiology is tough. Number one, it's a lot of memorization and a lot of content to go over the course of eight weeks. So at Chamberlain University, all courses are eight weeks long. And when I took a look at the syllabus today, um, each week we're gonna go over a different system um, in no particular order, for example, one week we'll talk about immunology, one week it'll be cardiology, one week it'll be neurovascular system, so on and so forth. So it's a lot of content to cover in a week. The number two reason I feel like this is going to be hard, and this isn't based off of what people told me, I noticed that there are no lectures. I was really hoping to find in my courses that there were going to be lectures embedded in each week. There are absolutely none. So I can imagine for those who feel like they need lectures and want to take notes, how this can be difficult not having it being taught to you. Chamberlain University is definitely a self-paced, self-taught system. And you have to be focused, you have to be driven, and you have to be motivated to be able to get yourself through it. And reason number three, it's a lot of reading. So basically, I have a textbook to go over and I have a workbook to go through each week. So it's just going to be a lot of content to go over a course of eight weeks. So really quick to let you know how I plan on preparing. And I took notes, so please excuse me if you see my notebook. Number one, one thing that I have done for every single course that helped me stay organized is I create a file folder in my computer for that particular course. So I went ahead and set up both my folders because again, I have doubled up on my classes. So the two classes I'm taking um, this semester along with advanced pathophysiology is health and population, health population and epidemiology. So I went ahead and created both those file folders. I created the folders. I've already downloaded the syllabuses into, or is it syllabi, syllabuses? Did I just make that up? Don't judge me, judge your mama but I downloaded them into each file um, so that I could try to stay organized. And as I go over, as I go through the eight weeks, what I do is just um, drop my work into each folder. So I have it for safe um, safekeeping. Another thing that I have started doing already is um, the reading. And there's a special way I plan on reading for this course, considering the fact that there are no lectures. So the first thing I did for each module, so one week is a module. So for each week or each module, what I plan on doing, I read, I'm reading the objectives first. And then I'm gonna place um, more focus on those in the readings. Because I feel like, and I don't know if this is true yet, guys. So when we get to week three or four, when it's time for my midterms, we'll be able to know for sure and assess that this works. But I feel like the object, 
uh, objectives should be preparing me for my midterms and preparing me for my final. And so when I do my notes, I always type out my notes and I plan on highlighting those objectives, pasting them into my notes, and then putting in a different color the text that apply to those objectives. So in the next week or two, I'll be able to show you an example of how I plan on taking my notes. Another thing that I'm gonna do during review week to help me prepare for pathophysiology is go on YouTube and find my favorite nurses. So I have three of them that I loved reviewing while I was in nursing school going um, for my registered nursing. The three of them, number one is registered RN. I absolutely, absolutely love all her content. So if I am tripped up on anything in regards to what I'm reviewing, I will definitely go to her page to see if she has any of those content um, videos available. Um, second favorite is simple. Is it simple nursing or? Yep, simple nursing. So I'll definitely go to his page, look at his content and just kind of um, compare contrast. Sometimes one may teach it better than the other, but I like to get different perspectives. And my third and final favorite is osmosis. Absolutely love those three. Those are my top three favorite YouTube channels um, that I absolutely love to help me with my content. And as I study, like I said, I create study guides and review sheets. So each week, since we're going over different uh, systems, I'm going to definitely keep it in a packet form. I print it out and then I'm going to carry it along with me. So I have the availability um, when I have downtime to go over those said things. And I'm going to review that for my upcoming midterm and my final. That's the goal. I hope it works. Um, the last and final thing that I did do um, when I took a look at the syllabus, I've already pulled out my planner and mapped out important dates. I set a date for my midterm and I've already set a date for my final just so I could stay focused and stay on track. I always like to give myself a little wiggle room and stay ahead of the game just to leave room in the event that an emergency happens that I'm already ahead and I could give myself a little grace. May is a very busy month for me. I have a lot of family members with birthdays in May, including mine. Um, you have Nurses Week, you have Mother's Day, coupled with Memorial Day. I'm in a family full of all women. We love to be celebrated and we love to celebrate. So I really have to be focused. I really have to be cognizant of everything that's going on around me. So planning and staying focused on my schedule is gonna be very detrimental to me passing this course. What I would like to advise other students that are um, about to take advanced pathophysiology or who's about to take it alongside with me. Number one, when you're studying, focus on the why. Focus on understanding what you're reading and not just based on memory. We both know if you're already a nurse, that you have to understand the why behind what's happening. Um, we're past the point. You have to use your critical thinking skills when you're dealing with these um, chronic diseases. Number two, do not cram your reading. So that's going to be um, very, very important. You can't get behind on your reading. You have to take your time. You have to be able to comprehend 
what you're reading. And if you don't understand it, you have to be able to have that ability to go on YouTube, listen to the videos and find a way that you're able to absorb the information. I know for me, I always have to do three passes when it comes to content. I read, I write or slash type out my notes. And then another thing that I do, if you haven't watched my previous video, please go back and look at it. My first um, video in regards to FMP studies, I have an NCLEX book and I'm gonna also do practice questions, practice NCLEX um, questions with every um, system that we go over. So don't forget to start practicing for um, the exam. You have to make sure that you're able to apply it you know, for the comprehensive exam that we have to take after this program. And then last but not least, set small achievable goals. Try not to put too much on yourself. You know, being in nursing school is already overwhelming. Coupled with whatever you're dealing with at work, in the family, with friends, or with your own personal health. So be kind to yourself and make small achievable goals that you're able to set and meet. Something that I wanted to share with you all, you don't have to master everything overnight. Consistency and understanding small pieces each day is what will win in this course. Happy studying guys, we can do it. And I'm so excited. You got this. You're going to be a great nurse practitioner. I am too. Don't forget to listen to your affirmations every day. Stay motivated. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Comment down below any additional tips that you have for me. I'm so happy to read them and I'll try to, you know, attribute it to my study plan. Until next time.